I am an expert on Transformers. Dare say the most smartest person on Transformers. This guy, however, doesn't know sh So we're gonna see exactly how little he knows on today's Nerd with Coffee. <laughs> I'm Elizabeth Maxwell, right. and I've stopped Chris. by for a cup of coffee. You have uh, been over a couple times. You've seen my massive collection of Transformers. You but say I'm it's a massive collection. <laughs> I say that that's only a fraction of what you own, and I've gone through your closets. <laughs> if this house was to catch fire, the plastic would keep it burning for like 200 years. Anyway. <laughs> you might die of plastic fumes before you died of the flames. <laughs> I would be trying to get everything out and bulk. Anyway, <laughs> but today I'm going to put him through some very simple tests. I'm going to show him a Transformer and give him choices of what that Transformer turns into. Little backstory, we do a special show other than this one, also called Alternate Heads, where we talk a lot about the toys that we collect. Unfortunately, I am not a Transformers fan. I own a few of them, but my biggest thing is I hate having them in vehicle mode. I think they look so much cooler in robot mode. So I know nothing about Transformers. I don't remember anything about what they transform to, even from the Michael Bay movies. I didn't watch the series. I didn't watch the movie. I just thought they looked cool. So I know diddly. Yeah. And granted, I, none of mine here are in robot mode. I mean, in uh, their alt mode. Yeah. Alt mode is what the Transformer turns into for you out there who are uninitiated. Anyway, so uh, we'll be seeing the alt mode, but I'll be giving you a couple of choices and we're going to see how many you get right. Okay. It'll probably be zero. If I, if I successfully manage to get three correct, okay, then we'll go ahead and we'll deem myself as the Transformer novice. Let's go Acolyte. I like Acolyte. Fair enough. Should have gotten business card. <laughs> Back to the printer. Let's go. All right, for your first choice, this guy is Grapple, which I'm pretty sure you can tell he turns into some sort of construction equipment some yeah some form of i know this is gonna be hard uh-huh so what okay so i've never talked about this because i've never asked because i don't know anything about these but almost like 90 percent of the transformers that i see on your shelf all have a gun for in hand just like how inconvenient is that actually <laughs> it, um you know i can prove that you know if you really want to get into it he has a hand. Oh, so you just display them in... Okay, well, there we go. I don't if know... If you have the choice between your normal hand or putting a gun on said hand, you put a gun on the hand. Anyway, well, I also don't trust myself. With especially guns, if you can so change just... out. So, anyway, like I said, this does transform into some sort of construction equipment. You can see that. Yeah. But what does he transform into? And the choices are A, a bulldozer, B, a crane, C, a backhoe, or front load or whatever you want. Oh, or D, a cement mixer. Because it's clear he does not transform into a cement mixer. That is the ridiculous Am thing. I allowed to hold it? Or? No! Okay. <laughs> okay, you can hold it for a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm I, timing you. I, will, I won't even like hold it, hold it. Just like examine it. But I don't... I chose this one because he actually covers up real well. Yeah, when there's, no, into... there's no backpack. Like... Yes. And as uh, one of my favorite viewers, Jobby the Hog, would say, back lives matter. <laughs> Demonetizing in three, no, two, <laughs> one. A oh, man. Ah, oh. come what, on. What were my options again? Okay, your choices are A, a bulldozer, B, a crane, C, a backhoe, or D, a cement mixer. Because clearly, he does not transform into a cement mixer. Well, you said his name was Grapple, right? Grapple. I'm gonna go with crane. Well, I'll be damned. You got the first one right. <laughs> So I just had to go ahead and assume since his name was Grapple and, you know, there's Crane, but... It... The beauty of this Transformer, and I just quick, something I'm going to quickly show, is there's his Crane. It's oh, all in his back. What? Okay. <laughs> Engineering. All right, congratulations, buddy. You got the first one. I'm on my way. Don't get so hopeful. I won't. <laughs> I should stop including the names because it's probably going to help him, but this is Beachcomber. Beachcomber? Beachcomber. He's a pacifist, by the way. But he has a gun. But he has a gun. Okay. I mean, I'm a pacifist, but I will shoot a fool. So anyway. It bothers me so much that... I will let you hold this one. It bothers me so much that, you know, I probably have to put in a different piece of footage here. 
but I know that he is an Autobot because I know the Autobot and Decepticon logos. Mm -hmm. But it bothers me so much that he has a normal Autobot logo here and an upside down one down here. I want to say that was a conscious choice by me because I do want him to have an Autobot logo in his alt mode. But getting to what he transforms into, does he transform into a a a Jeep? B a sports car. C, a dune buggy. Oh, God. Or D, a snowblower. Because his name is Beachcomber. Well, I, I can see that there's vehicle parts on his back mm -hmm. that definitely look like an engine. Okay. Uh, he doesn't have an actual face. He's just wearing goggles. You know, if you had told me that uh, this, like, he would turn into some kind of, you know, ski of some kind, I'd have probably believed that. Uh, I could put D for a skiler. He's a skiler. <laughs> He's a skiler. <laughs> <laughs> Something snow related. <laughs> so Ski your choices Ski again. is the best way to ac uh, accurately describe my sex life. You know, it moves and sometimes people get hurt. Going back to those choices now, does he transform into a Jeep, I'm gonna, a sports car, a dune buggy, or a snowblower? I'm going to go with dune buggy. Damn it. He got another one right. <laughs> I went with dune buggy because if you look at the transformer itself, yeah, you can see engine parts there, but I don't see any like actual headlights or anything on the front of the vehicle. Oh, the headlights are right here. Uh, well, you know, I, point is it didn't look like a standard vehicle. And I know that dune buggies don't look like standard vehicles. Not like we have tons of them in Texas or whatever, but. South Texas. <laughs> just, just say. <laughs> I was going to be leaving them on the table. So, cause I want to probably display my full thing. Anyway, so congratulations. You are two out of five. If I get one more, Jason will have some respect for me. So your third Transformer is Wild Rider. Wild Rider is a Decepticon. I will tell you that much. Does he transform into, and this is going to get specific now because you're getting too many right. I got I got <laughs> I honestly I got I got to screw you over here. So anyway, does he turn into a Lamborghini Countach, a Dodge Charger, a Ferrari Testarossa, oh my god, or a motorcycle? So now you've found my weakness of the fact that I don't know cars either. Nope. <laughs> I I know what my car is and like that's about it. I know you I know what kind of car you drive. I know cars from Transformers. <laughs> okay, what were my options again? Your choices are a Lamborghini Countach. Okay, I kind of know what a Lamborghini a, is. Yep, think of it as the car of the 80s. It's a, it's a fancy one. B, a Dodge Charger. I don't think that's it. C, a Ferrari Testarossa. Or D, a, a Honda motorcycle. <laughs> Well, it could be. The I, wheels could combine. Come on. No, Mass transformation. I, I'm going to go with that's not correct. So I'm going to no, go, go with, with. You should go with. Me. I'm going to go with. Oh, man. So um, the, my, my main guess here is that all of the front is a lie for me. And I'm going based oh, all, off of it's, the back. It's, it is all a lie. Going based off the back. Um, and I'm trying to remember specifically what a Lamborghini and a Ferrari look like. Because I don't think this is a Dodge. Uh, I'm going <coughs> to have to go with, I think it's a Ferrari. You are correct. Yeah. Damn it. He's, I've is, already won the this game. This backfired on me so Just bad. Just got to go for a clean sweep. Can do this on my way. This is all, I hate this game now. I've, I've already won. I was expecting this to go differently, but you know what? I'm still going to continue. I'll still laugh at you for like a few. Anyway, this is Power Glide. He is an Autobot. This is, that's a cop. I don't know what a cop. Anyway, <laughs> got to tighten that joint up. Anyway, Man, like that, I said, Power that, Glide, Autobot. I'm going to go ahead and give him to you here. That is some head he's got on there. I, yeah. It is a, that is like a rocket. So how well do you know planes? I know that they fly via magic. This could work out for me still. Anyway, he does transform into a plane. You can tell by the wings. So yeah. I'm going to give you a, a couple of choices here. A, does he transform into an A-10 Warthog? B, a single prop Cessna? D, I'm sorry, C, a stealth bomber? <laughs> <laughs> or D, a hang glider? 
Go with D. He, he, it's a hang glider. Clearly, it's a hang glider. Man, if we've learned anything, D is never the right answer. <laughs> Until it is. Uh, man. It can never be D, so that's, that's the thing. Okay, so say it again. Okay. Uh, I believe A was an A-10 Warthog. Uh, B was a uh, single prop Cessna. Warthog's that thing from C Halo, right? C is a... I forgot what I said. So it's not C. <laughs> Got it. Damn it. All right. Or D, a hang glider. Whatever. This is why you write things down. This is why you write things down. <laughs> okay, so... Just rewind the tape. <laughs> You've already won the game, so, you know. Well, I know it's oh, a jet. Oh, C was a stealth bomber. I know it's a jet of Which some is kind. a black jet, so, you know. I, I would have I figured that out, because I do know what a stealth bomber, uh, stealth bomber looks Clearly like. Clearly, they are black in color, because, you know, uh, nighttime and not being seen and whatnot. I've already forgotten the options, so I'm saying B. Well, you're wrong. He uh, transforms into an A-10 Warthog. See, Warthog I always thought was a, like a Jeep because of Halo, but I've only played like one Halo. That's more so. of a Puma. I don't know vehicles! <laughs> Running joke from somebody else's more successful YouTube channel. Anyway, there we go. So you got one wrong out of the four. Let's see how you do for the last one. So uh, no matter what happens from here, I can't get a clean sweep, but I have won the game. <coughs> but all right, now. Let's, let's go to the last one. Just another small one here. This—it's so, it's so sad because that's still not the smallest, tran the, like the biggest transformer you own. <laughs> it's not. This is Ultra Magnus. He is huge, large, and in charge. I and have seen this one before yes, in you shelves, have. but like I said, I know the siege line is wrong. I know that the new line is supposed to be correct, but okay. So, your choices for this one are... Good God, there's some weight here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, I think you can kind of tell parts of him. So, does he transform into an 18-wheeler for A, B, a car carrier, C, a tow truck for semi-trucks, or B, a bicycle? Or D, a bicycle? <laughs> what kind of bicycle? It matters. Puffy. <laughs> Okay, so well, A, a I, semi, B, a car carrier, C, a tow truck for larger semis, or D, a, a huffy bicycle. Okay, um, well, I can tell he's got multiple wheels, so semi's not out of the question. No. Um, I don't think it's a tow truck. I don't. I don't see anything here that makes it seem like he would be a tow truck. So what were, I know you said semi, what was the... A semi was, uh, that was a. a. B is a car carrier. D tow truck for larger tow trucks. I I think he's a car carrier. Damn it! If he scales, in, I got it. Well, if he scales in with the other transformers, because I don't know what your lines specifically are, so I don't know if these scale they're all properly. masterpiece. Yeah, they're all scale. So, properly. but if they scale properly, he's big enough that he could hold one of like hold this, you know, the yes, Ferrari yes, here. Yes, he does. Yes, but. He does. You know, but he's still not, he's still too big or he's too small to hold something like Optimus or something. Because I would assume Optimus would be about that size over there with Grapple maybe bigger. A little bit bigger. So I don't think he would be big enough to hold the semi. So I'm, I, that's, that's what I'm going with. I think he's a car carrier. I got to tell you, Nate, this is actually kind of eye opening. You got four out of five. That is pretty good. But I am not done with you. No. I will defeat you. There's I so will see you broken and battered. I'm sorry. That, that might be a little too much. Man, we're off to a successful future with Nerds with Coffee. <laughs> My co-host is great. Congratulations. In the future, we'll do more episodes, something like this, where we have to guess what transforms into you know other things. But we also have other episodes and other things that are coming up. Most likely with other members of Nerds with Co uh, other Nerds with Coffee members, other people from Super Cool Nerd Show as our network. They can have other people. So you may be not only getting a chance to get me down, but more people as well. Because I think that you're the so only one that knows about Transformers. So my self-inflicted, I have to reveal GoBot or something. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> Send GoBots. He loves them. Anyway, guys, thank you, Nate, for participating in another episode of Nerds Coffee. And I'll be back. I will get you and the other people from SNS. I'll get you all. We want to go ahead and thank everybody for liking, commenting, subscribing, as well as turning on the notification bell. 
the notification bell on apps. You do have to click on it to whenever, know whenever new episodes are coming out. New episodes of Nerds with Coffee come out every Monday and Friday, but other shows come out, you know, alternating parts of the week. So if you want to know when our other shows come out, especially with other members of our crew, then be able to turn on that notification bell and turn on notifications in your settings if you're using the phone. Other than that, thank you for stopping by for a cup of coffee with us, and we will see you next time. <laughs>